always felt alone. My whole life. For as long as I can remember. I don't know if I like it. Or, or if I'm just used to it. But I do know this. Being lonely does things to you. And feeling shit and bitter and angry all the time just...
did I get here?
Did I pass out? Huh? Who's that? Relax. I am not one of them. Who are you then? I am nobody. What? You shouldn't be here. It's very dangerous. Wait. Why are you wearing a gas mask? Are you stupid or something? Do I look like I want to turn into one of them? I can't trust you. I don't know if you're real. Just leave me alone. What the?
was that? Hallucinations? Am I going insane? Shit. Ah.
I can't hear you. Who is this? Where are you? How did you get my number? Can you help me? What the fuck is going on in this town? I need to speak to you, Simon. I'm up on the roof. I'm just in the park. You're... what? You're up on the roof? I can't hear what you're saying. Hello? Hello? Are you still there?
what the hell are you doing here? Oh, hi, Simon. What? I don't... I don't understand anything now. What is it that you don't understand? What do you think? The whole fucking city is crawling with... Monsters and... I just... I mean, suddenly you just turn up on these rooftops? Monsters? Simon, you're scaring me. Scaring? What the fuck? This is just sick. <laughs> well, I... maybe it's just... Let's talk about something else. How have you been? Uh, I, I don't know. Better now that you're here. Yeah. I'm... I'm glad you're here too, Sophie. I've been alone all this time. I see. Some stuff. But what about yourself? Why are you here? Are you hiding up here from those things? No. I really don't understand what you're talking about. I'm just thinking. Thinking. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of that too. Do you remember how you got here? I don't know. Yeah, I just... I woke up myself, but it wasn't an alley and... Wait, I can probably show you. No. Hush, Simon. Can't we just sit here for a while? Huh. Yeah. Sure. I do. I want to know just what in the fuck is going on here. Is it about that doctor guy uh, in the gas mask? Doctor? Simon, please. No, I mean about school. Ooh. Yeah? What? Well, I don't know if you knew, but I always had a hard time at school. You were, well, you were pretty much the only guy who was kind to me. I never said it, but I really want to thank you for making my life a little bit more bearable. You're a cute guy, Simon. Yeah. Yeah, you did have it pretty rough. Thank you. Yeah. I guess I helped you because I liked you. You were one of the prettiest girls at school and... I don't know, I just... I guess I wanted to protect you. I don't love you, but I think I could if we got to know each other better. You're so beautiful, Sophie. Why haven't you said anything? I never had the courage. I, I mean... I wasn't exactly the toughest kid in school, was I? But now we're here alone, I... I've always liked you, Sophie. Oh, Simon, I don't know what to say. I always liked you too, but not in that way. I always thought that you were just a friend, nothing more. I'm sorry. Mm. But... Damn, so much stuff has happened lately. All this craziness, the darkness and, and the monsters. I think I'm going crazy. I'm so glad I found you. I know, a lot of things have been going on lately. Yeah, really. Was it you who tried to phone me, by the way? Yeah, I wanted to talk to you. To get away from it all. Oh, but, but what? Out here? 
No, away from everything. Away from all this. What? What do you mean? You know full well what I mean. Wait a sec, you... You mean all... No! No, no, no! Sophie... Why did she... What the fuck? This... This isn't making any sense!
Sophie. Simon, let me go. I love you. I love you, Sophie. I have to leave. Please. I fucking love Just you. Just let me go, Simon. Sophie. I have to leave. Please. I fucking love Just you. Just let me go, Simon.
spinal damage in the accident. It's a miracle he still retains upper body motion. From the waist down, however, there is no nervous response at all. Not to mention the mental trauma he suffered. From what I can tell, Simon is a deeply disturbed individual who had mental problems even prior to the accident. Back to the train. 
sitting here like a fool. Feels like it was just a few seconds ago I was traveling here. No, think straight. I got hit by a car, woke up, and these things have been trying to kill me since. I mean, what is actually happening with me? Mom keeps telling me to get home, but why? How would that solve any of the crazy shit I've seen? I can't even contact the police here. Everything is just... fucked. Could it be that I'm just... hallucinating? No, s seriously. Am I? Or is there something else? <sighs> I keep thinking back at that doctor guy. Well, he is crazy all right. Something to me? Seeing as he wears a gas mask. Or is all this just not real? I'm confused. I'm just very confused. So many questions, but no answers. I'll see what happens when I come home.
go crazy. I'm close enough. I can't. There's a big fucking gate in the way. That's why I want you to come closer. I'm not guilty. How? I need a gun. You got a gun! The subway. The guy you shot. Remember? I want a new gun. Look, just open the gate, will you? I'm tired of all this. No, there's a new gun in the boat now. Get it for me. Now. Uh, I know. I have it already. Good. Give it to me right now. 
Simon, the pills by itself won't make you feel better. You have to do something more than that. I recommend that you try a new modern treatment called cognitive therapy. What's that? Well, it's a set of exercises you do. A way to forget the past. All the bad memories and anxiety you have. Are you interested in books, Simon?
Finally home. I hope mom's okay. Mom? Mom? Where are you? Mom? Mom?
by the time you are reading this, you will find my dead body covered in blood, with my head blown to bits. I know you might think I'm not, or wasn't, normal. I was crippled, stuck in a wheelchair, and that's why I had to die. I was broken, defect, full of emotional problems. My mind was stuck in a never-ending loop of anxiety, depression, and despair. A roller coaster with no end, and I wanted out so bad. This book writing tip was fucking bullshit. It only made me realize how truly fucked my life was. Ironic. <laughs> how that one person who was actually paid to help me only made it worse. Gave me that one last push, which was needed for me to end myself. <laughs> and now he's dead. <laughs> it's almost poetic. The only person who tried to help me was my only friend, Sophie. Please, tell her I'm sorry. I wish her all the best. Please don't show her this mess. This is my conclusion. This is my end. Farewell, everyone.